Welcome to Gay or Not Gay, U.S. Congress edition, the show created in order to demythify some commonly held misconceptions. I'm your host, Francis Butterworth. Let's meet our contestants. Contestant number one, former disgraced Republican senator from Idaho, Larry Guilford. Contestant number two, political commentator and host of the TV show Hard Talk, Walter Webster. And contestant number three, an underage male congressional page, Tyler Fox. All right, let's begin. Question number one. After receiving sexually explicit text messages from your congressman boss, you walk into his office and find him masturbating vigorously. He finishes and squirts you in the eye with man mustard. Gay or not gay? Walter. That is gay and a clear violation of congressional ethics policy. Oh, sorry, Walter. Just because it violates policy doesn't make it gay. Senator Guilford. It's not gay. Lots of delegates do that in the office to relieve stress. You were probably just misconstruing his actions. Oh, sorry. It's hard to misconstrue catching a shot of jizz in your eye. Tyler. It's not gay. The congressman was probably molested by a priest as a child. And this is the only way he knows how to show affection. Correct. It's not gay if he was molested by a priest. Good job. Okay, question number two. You are arrested for lewd conduct during a sting operation in an airport bathroom stall. <laughs> Senator Guilford. It's not gay. I was just reaching for a piece of toilet paper under the other stall. Oh, sorry. Grabbing another man's tube steak because you thought it was a roll of toilet paper doesn't make it not gay. <laughs> Walter for the steal. That's absolutely gay. He was arrested for homosexual activity and pled guilty. Case closed. Oh, so sorry. Just because he pled guilty doesn't mean it's actually gay. What? Tyler. It's not gay. He didn't have his attorney with him. He probably didn't know what he was doing. He's just a confused old man who wants to be loved by men. Correct. It's not gay if your attorney never told you otherwise. Nice job. This is ridiculous. All right, question number three. You're the host of a political TV talk show called Hard Talk. Oh, oh, wait a second. I'm the host of Hard Talk, and I'm not gay. Woo! Sorry, that's not an answer. Let me finish the question, please. After a particularly strenuous interview, you ask your male assistant, Hans, to give you a massage. Well, it's private. He never should have told you that. Sorry, you've used your answer. You can't answer it twice. Now, if you'll just let me finish the question, please. Oiled up, naked, and face down on the massage table, you ask Hans to shove a string of anal beads up your butt. Gay or not gay? That's not true! He wasn't oiled up! Sorry, you've used your answer. Senator Guilford. It's not gay. Homosexuality's a big political issue. He was just doing research for the show. Oh, sorry. Letting another dude ram jam beads into your ass in the name of research doesn't make it not gay. Tyler, for the win. It's not gay because anal beads are part of the massage. Correct. It's not gay if the anal beads are all part of the massage. Good job. Way to play. Tell him what he's won, Ramon. It's a VIP trip to the Watergate Hotel and a private tour of the House of Representatives sauna and steam room. Until next time, I'm Francis Butterwill for Gay or Not Gay. <laughs>